trying to figure out how it go what's up youtube welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute it's been about five months first of all i know y'all probably like welcome back like girl who is you like yes i said who is you on purpose like girl who are you and when were you ever here in the youtube world like <laughs> so forgive me like god has really been dealing with me concerning youtube really not even just youtube like i have such a love hate relationship with social media as far as like facebook and instagram i really don't like facebook and instagram but trying to use them for marketing tools but um as far as like youtube go i love youtube because it's just full of information there's so much to learn and i have so much to offer so i'm sitting here wrestling with god and not wanting to come and record because I guess I don't really like the spotlight, but um, <sighs> I'm back here and I'm just going to be obedient and share my experiences, share what I know, um, things that I've been through, just like um, the importance of motherhood, womanhood, mental health. That's very important for us moms, especially us stay-at-home moms, especially us homeschooling moms. Like there's nothing but the Lord that keeps us, right? So I just want to just come on and just do a quick video, let you know that there will be more content coming soon. This channel will just be based off of faith, motherhood, business, as I am a business owner, homeschooling because I'm a homeschooling mother, and just words of encouragement. I'm just here to inspire, you know, and the words of encouragement and inspiration will be as led by the Lord because God be giving me some messages and... um it may be encouraging to someone else. So, um, yeah. Sorry for the arms. You know how be you probably be a little nervous your first time, your first few videos. So, y'all bear with me. But just another intro if you have not seen my videos in the past. My name is Jasmine. I'm a mother of two boys. I have a 14-year-old and I have a 3-year-old. Um, I have been homeschooling since last November. That is November... 2020 and um so far it has been a great journey we have our ups and downs it's not perfect um i'm gonna try this year to share a few clips of our homeschooling like what we're doing instead of it just being like me just you know talking and being informational as i learn how to edit which i'm probably not gonna do it i'm not even gonna lie. i'm just gonna ask somebody else to help me edit these videos because yeah, but um, I'm going to try to just add some clips so you can see, like, what we're doing. But my 14-year-old, he does not like the camera. He does not like to be on camera. And I want to respect his privacy. As far as the baby, he loves the camera. So I have to record when he's sleeping <laughs> because once he sees the camera, he's going to come around to the camera. But, um, yeah, so I'll record a little bit of that. Um. I'm a business owner. I had a boutique, but I shut the boutique down after a year. Things started to slow down, and I just realized that that wasn't what I was really passionate about. It was just moving because during the pandemic, everything was shut down. So, you know, the girls was coming to me because the malls was closed, and here I am to serve. This is a supply and demand, you know? So the hustle has always been in me. But, um, yeah, so now I am using my gifts and my talent, and one of the gifts that the Lord has blessed me with is the gift of doing hair so these fingers let me tell you they grow some hair i have been braiding since the age of i think 11 or 12 i've been doing hair on my front porch and now i registered my hair business and i do hair outside of my home as well as work in my friend's shop a couple of days throughout the week but mainly i do hair in my home i set up a um a hair room like where i braid hair at so if you would like to see that hair room, let me know. Maybe I'll post some videos on how I do braids, like knotless braids. And actually right now I'm working on a braided lace wig. It's a knotless wig. I should show y'all, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. Um, yeah, so that's just it. So far as our homeschooling journey, this is just an, up, an update on where we are with homeschooling now. So since September... Well, we started back our homeschool after the summer break 
Also, let me let you know that the state that I'm located in, they are not heavy on requirements. Actually, there's really no requirements as far as homeschooling goes. You just need to notify your um, Board of Education and let them know that you choose to homeschool your kid. Besides that, they do not ask or require that you follow a set curriculum. They don't give you no set hours or none of that. So I love the freedom of homeschooling in this state. So far as our, like how our days were going, I'm going to change it up a little bit, but Monday and Tuesday, we followed a block schedule. We were not strict on time because this is home. Like we just go with the flow. So we weren't strict on time. Um, yeah, so we would go by our subjects. Our subjects were math, ELA, social studies, science, um, black history. Ooh, I'm looking down at my notes. Oh, we did home economics. My son loves home economics. And what home economics basically is life skills as well as learning how to run a household, right? And the financial part of that too, like budgeting and things like that. Um, we did entrepreneurship and trade skills. I have this very cool book called Entrepreneurship for teenagers oh we also did gardening so i think i was just gonna put gardening in with home economics like i want my children to know how to grow our own fruits and vegetables so during this process of homeschooling i'm learning along with my children and what i'm learning i'm passing along with them oh let me not forget the most important thing every day we always start our day off with prayer and we will read a scripture for the day most times we'll read whatever that day is in the proverbs for that for that day so that's how it was monday and tuesday monday and tuesday my son will have three or four of those subjects to do he does not do all subjects in one day and he does not do the same subjects every day so if he chooses to do math science black history one day the next day he's going to do ela home economics entrepreneurship so that's how we did that on wednesday and thursday I chose to allow my son to unschool, meaning he would pick what he wants to learn if he wants to do a project. Um, a lot of times, just going to keep it 100, he ain't want to pick. He didn't even know what he wanted to do. He wanted me to give him something to do. So I would either give him a project to do or we would game school, which is I have some educational games that we play together, like the Continental Race, um, Monopoly, because that helps with math. Um, what else we have over there? Oh, money bags. It would seem like it's for a younger age instead of being a teenager, but I had to help my son to get up to pace. So according to how the school system set up, he was not on grade level. And you know what? That's okay. Because we're not going by the school system. I'm going by what he needs to learn. Um, so... This month of December, oh, and Friday, we do not homeschool. So that's how it was Wednesday or Thursday. He will unschool. Either I would choose something for him unless he wanted to learn something, but he never knew what he wanted to work on. So Wednesday, Thursday, he unschooled. He always read for 30 minutes a day and read and wrote for 20 minutes. So 30 minutes of reading, 20 minutes of writing. And Friday was no homeschool. Friday was our day off, and that's my day to take care of me. Either I'm having a me day, self-care day, um, working. Most of the time it's me working. I'm doing hair. And yeah. And in between time, like what I would do is I would go over whatever it is for my teenager to do. And he can just, he would follow directions. I might write some things on the board, like for his ELA, it might just be some vocabulary and do some definitions and sentences. Like he would know what his work is on the board and I would help him in between time, read, you know, the paragraph or instructions to him and he would do the rest on his own. So in between that, I will go and sit down with the with my toddler and do a little bit of um, basically phonics with him. We are working on his phonics and his numbers. He knows his colors, he knows his shapes, but it's working on like um, his pronunciation because according to them, he's not on, he has a speech delay, but we're not gonna speak that over his life in Jesus name. So yeah, we just work on his phonics, his numbers. Uh, we play a lot of games. Wish I could show some, maybe that'd be another video. Um, just show some things that we do. So this month of December is our winter break. 
so we are officially on winter break and this is just our month to well in the beginning we did a review of everything that we went over that we we're just resetting you know we're just resting resting and resetting as we prepare for january which is coming back to our homeschooling so this month so far being off has been at, honestly this has been my my month of hustling like i just been doing hair door dashing <laughs> I'll share some DoorDash stories later on. But yeah, I just been door hair and door dashing and just, you know, mommyhood, taking care of these kids, taking care of home, cooking, cleaning, trying to stay mentally sane. Um, I have some great plans for our new homeschooling year starting for 2022. I'm looking into a math tutor for my son because honestly, I really don't have the patience and I know what I need to know to know what I need to know to survive, but I want him to know more than what I know. So I'm looking into a math tutor for him. I also want to look into um, a starting to learn about financial literacy because I want my son to understand investments and just financial freedom, how to grow his money, all that things, all the things that our parents didn't teach us, right? Well, I don't know about you guys, but my grandmother raised me. I was not taught that. Um, Oh, as well as a foreign language. I want my son to learn a foreign language in 2022, as well as we're going to be taking just a trip once a month. I don't know what a trip is going to be because the way that 19 is out there and that new variant, you know, there's a lot of places that are requiring this and requiring that. We're not going to say those words on this video. So, um, yeah. But maybe like museums and you know what I believe now they're doing this thing called virtual tours. So if you want to take your children to the Smithsonian, Smithsonian, I'm probably saying the wrong museum or just any museum that's in another state. I believe they have like these virtual tours where they can watch it. But no, I want to take my children to the actual place to see it, to touch the things. Um, so, yeah, that's something to work on. Also, my friend wants me to start homeschooling her two children so this is going to be interesting because it was not something I wanted to do right and I was just in prayer and it's so funny like you could be praying to God about something and seeking an answer for something else and he's sitting here telling you something else and I'm like hold on God that thought was that my thought or was that your thought because I was praying I forget what I was praying concerning just in my devotion time in the morning and that thought popped in my head to homeschool my friend kids which I knew she was thinking about it and had some questions about it. But um, it wasn't on my mind or my heart to homeschool her kids, right? So I'm like, I'm in the flow of trying to get into the flow of our own thing, you know? So how how will it be adding to kids? And I just reached out to her and I was like, and I was first I was like, God, is that you? Or was that me? And I'm like, no, it ain't me because that ain't something I want to do, right? <laughs> but let me tell you about this season about this season this is the season to be obedient actually every season is the season to be obedient because you never know what god wants to do in you and through you and also for that other person so it's not about me so i said you know i'm going to reach out to my friend and i was like are you still considering homeschooling your children if so um i'm here i just i feel led you know the i feel the lord led me to reach out to you concerning it and i definitely know that it wasn't me because it's not something that i would want to do and she was just like oh yes and she was like look at god answering my prayer so that was something she prayed for so you just got to be obedient so yeah i will be homeschooling her two children with my children um this winter so this will be interesting i can't wait to you know share more of our journey with you and yeah so so far that's um that's all i have for this or you know my homeschooling update um i will be i don't like the promise but i'm i will be obedient and i will post more okay i'm gonna post more content you can let me know in the comments if you're a homeschooling mom where are you homeschooling from if you feel comfortable with sharing you know your state information and how is your journey going so far are you homeschooling a teenager i need some tips on homeschooling teenagers okay and if you are thinking about homeschooling let me know what is stopping you from homeschooling your children okay um i would definitely be coming on here giving 
my testimony. I believe that is not, I believe, I know that that is something that the Lord wants me to share. Actually, everything that we go through, everything that has been in us, I mean, everything that we have been through is not really about us, okay? We need to tell our story. We need to get it out there so other people can be healed, other people can be delivered, so other people can be encouraged because what you went through is not just for yourself, it's for someone else. So I have to get out here and I have to use this voice that the Lord gave me. You know, because the enemy has been trying to shut my voice. He has been trying to keep me quiet. And it's like, okay, no, this can't be. I have to use this voice, okay? We are overcome by the blood of the lamb, by the word of our testimony. So I'm going to come on here, come back on here one day and just share my testimony of my past and how I I wasn't taken out of here, okay? I'm going to share my testimony of overcoming smoking marijuana. I know a lot of Christians that are in the church who smoke marijuana and they say that they can't quit let me tell you you can quit okay um overcoming sexual immorality <sighs> lust okay and let me tell you and, and a lot of things it was not me and my own strength is through prayer and fasting and still continually praying and fasting and breaking generational curses but we're not gonna get into all of that right now in this video so i just wanted to come back and give an update and um yeah i'll be back on sometime again in a couple more days um also let me know in the comments what do you want to what type of content would you like to see concerning what will be on this channel far as motherhood, being a stay-at-home mom, homeschooling, business, the area of entrepreneurship. Oh, I know a little bit of gardening too, but I'm no master gardener. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'll see you again. Talk soon.